following developing news from the Michigan-Ontario border where the U.S. military detected and shot down another high-altitude object. Government officials say the object was flying about 20,000 feet over Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Yeah, it was just about to cross over into Lake Huron when it was finally shot down. Carlos Sacedo joining us live in the studio with what the authorities are now talking about this. Carlos. Rick and Sam, there's still a lot of mystery surrounding the latest object. U.S. officials first tracked this unidentified item flying over Montana. President Biden gave the orders to take it down. This is now the fourth object to be shot out by U.S. military jets. The U.S. airspace has been compromised. On Sunday, President Biden ordered an unidentified object shot down with a fighter jet over Lake Huron. The object, believed to be the same one tracked over Montana from the night before. The takedown coming after other similar items were shot out of the sky over Alaska and Canada. Canadian officials say the unidentified object was flying at altitudes that posed a threat to commercial aircraft on Saturday. Canadian and American fighter jets were scrambled uh, and an American F-22 successfully shot down the object. Uh, recovery teams are on the ground um, looking to uh, find and analyze the object. On Friday, an object the size of a small car was downed over remote Alaska. Both objects appeared to be balloons. U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer on this week. Until they get that comprehensive analysis, however, we have to look at each balloon individually were these and balloons see what Friday they're and stunned. Saturday night? They believe they were, yes, uh, but much smaller. A total of four objects have now been shot out of the sky by U.S. fighter jets in eight days. The first balloon was shot down over the Atlantic on February 3rd. The Chinese spy balloon is believed to be part of a fleet developed for surveillance. While some lawmakers say we shouldn't rush to judgment until all the facts are uncovered, it should serve as a wake-up call that the U.S. needs to improve its radar system. I think the Chinese were humiliated. I think the Chinese were caught lying. And I think it's a real it's it's a real step back for them. Now, China claims the first balloon was a civilian weather balloon, calling the U.S. irresponsible and hysterical for shooting down the flying objects. Rick and Sam, I'll send it back to you. All right, Carlos, we'll take it. Thanks.